Good day and welcome to the channel. This is a follow-up to a video we just completed on how to remove static public IP addresses from your machines in Azure. You can see here we have these four VMs and by default Azure is now creating static addresses that are billable. So we have this video on how to remove them in case you don't need them. Now here's a situation where uh, we want to add a public IP address in but we only want it to be dynamic. So we're only paying for it while we're using it. If you leave it as a static and you have the, the that, that machine off or you have it deallocated, doesn't make any difference. You're still paying for the IP address, which makes sense because Microsoft has to uh, hold it for you. So how do we add a dynamic address? Not very hard, but it is a few clicks and it's not something you just obviously figure it yourself. So there's a, there's a long way and a short way we'll show you the short way and the way that will make the most sense uh, to people here. So click on the server in question, the VM in question, I guess I should say, and you'll notice here that there is no public address. So go down to network settings. Oh, and that's a good point. If I, if I go to connect and I try to RDP to this thing, I can only RDP using the private address. So I can only get to it from inside the uh, LAN. And no, that's not really what I want. So how do I add the public? Well, I could click add here, or uh, let's go back to network settings. We'll set it up the more common sense way and click public IP address configure. Then click on IP config one or whatever it is in your case, but that's probably it. Everything up here relates to the internal IP. We want to add an external IP. So click associate public IP address. Now, what public IP address? Well, there's a few here, but they're already in use. This is on my domain controllers and so on and so forth. I wanna create a whole new one. So click create a new IP address. And this is where it comes up with uh, how you can set it to uh, dynamic or static. You'll notice that right now it's at the standard. And if it's on standard, you can only get static. And what's that about? Well, in September of 2025, Microsoft is eliminating they're fully deprecating basic. So in the future, if you want a public address, it's apparently going to be static. It's just the way it is. But for now, for the next year and a half, you can click basic, set it to dynamic. Yeah, there it is, September 30th. There we go. And click on dynamic. And I'm going to name this public address SRV2, just so that I know what it is if I'm looking at public addresses. Uh, let's click OK and save. And this will take a minute to uh, add, but not really that long. Okay, so we're back at the virtual machines and you can see that the public IP address is not listed there. And why wouldn't that be? Well, because it's dynamic, not static. It doesn't have an address until you start it up, which this is not. So first thing you have to do, start it up. Start that up. And uh, let's click on the machine. Okay, let's click refresh. Uh, you can see it says it's running, but it's not quite finished. We can get ready anyway. There's the IP address. Let's just click uh, start remote desktop. The IP in. And let's see if it's ready now. And that's how you do it. That is how you add a public address that is dynamic to a server in Microsoft Azure. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.